Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to American Truck uh, Simulator, and we're on episode one. <laughs> so we have. I've just gone through all the settings and all that kind of carry on and rubbish. Uh, I'll move this view back a bit for you guys so you can see a bit more. So yeah, we've just done all the settings the only thing i haven't done which i've just uh, remembered is we're going to go and do gameplay and we're going to go down to steven rotation and we're going to put that on uh we'll do automatic uh, where are we are we'll do automatic engine brake for now Automatic blinker turn offs on. Uh, air brake simulation, we'll go for that as well. Right, so we're just going to do our little quick job. We're going to see how how this runs. It should run okay, I think. So we're we'll going left. I don't think there's anything coming. We're busy. Wrong time of day we've picked here, guys. There's a truck coming. So I might need to move the view around a bit, guys, to get it right for you guys. Uh, I don't know where's right and where's wrong at the moment, so... The view in these trucks is a bit different to... Uh, the Euro truck but I've put the uh, the steering on and uh, if you run it if you run the game in Windows mode which I don't normally like to do it puts all the extra stuff on the center screen which is handy oh come on thought I was gonna stall there So let us know what you think guys, uh, I can go back to just doing the odd uh, American truck episode now and again, I'm going to need to turn the force feedback down because it's shaking the screen. Not the actual screen, it's shaking the, the, the camera. But yeah, I, I, this isn't going to stop Euro truck, Euro truck will be still every other day but I was just going to do an American truck one day. Or a Euro truck the next and then an American truck. So just try and, you know, so there'll be a Euro truck every other day and an American truck every other day. That was going to be the, the plan, but let me know what you guys think. I know the American truck episodes aren't very popular, but I do enjoy playing it. Nice. This is going to be an awful, an awful parking, isn't it? Can we just go standard park then for now? <laughs> Tell you what, just as just, uh, I should really, yeah, uh, I shouldn't do that. I should really just go with the yard park then, shouldn't I? See the guy cleaning the windows. So we want to be in that corner there. Let us know what you think of the... Uh... Oh, I'm not going to get around here. Yeah, let us know what you think of the camera turning with the steam wheel. I'm using it on Euro truck as well, so... We're going to jackknife. Who knew? I'm not going to hit that. It's actually not a very big trailer, this. But I've got no idea how I'm going to get it in there. I've got no idea where where I want it to go here. I'm on full lock, but this trail is just too bad an angle. 
Like the trailer just doesn't want to come back. Like the trailer doesn't want to turn, innit? I'm just not gonna get it. <sighs> right, I want to actually get some driving done, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fail the park in there. Sorry, guys. I am a newbie though. <laughs> so, our headquarters. So now. We're going to go and do a quick job. Uh, wow, that looks a nice truck. It's a 200 mile. We'll go with that for now. So we're going to do a little 200 miler. Uh, maybe just have to sit in the truck for two minutes and try and get the view set up a little bit better because I know it doesn't look perfect, but I'm trying. Uh, all right, where are we with here? I still haven't got my other keyboard yet, so... Right, so the uh what is it? No, that's not the one I want. Nope. Right there, J. Alright, put that back to centre. I can probably pick that up a bit. No, that I don't remember. <laughs> right. We'll move that over a little bit. I'll probably go with that for now. I think that looks alright. That doesn't look too well. Oh, that's what I... Oh, that sounds nice. That's what I was going to do. I was just going to... Go into here. And turn the force feed... Oh, no, it's not the force feedback. It's the engine force feedback I think is that it yeah just turn that off for now right I'm gonna turn that mirror off on that corner lads because I don't think you need it at the moment Nice engine sound this, so we're going right here. Every time I come in this game I enjoy it. <laughs> have a new mill but I'm gonna do this job and probably another couple of jobs first before we uh, we'll go and buy our truck it's a police car so we're not gonna take the mech there is he letting us through is he Don't forget guys, the uh, the camera steering is really good if you've only got one uh, one screen, but I quite like it with three as well. Right, so we've got 186 miles. 186 miles and we've only got 10 gears, so I was trying to go into 6, which would be 12, but we don't have 12. Do you anything with the mirrors on this? You guys won't be able to see the mirrors that well. Uh, can I just... There we go. I could push out to about there for you guys. 
don't know if that's better for you guys to see. It's a bit wide for me, like, but I don't mind. I want you guys to be able to see as much as you can. Uh, but I'll change it if need be. It, the view in Euro in American truck is a lot harder to get right. But uh, let me know. I've got all my buttons set up. Oh, look at the little baby wipers. Hey, this is Min. Awesome. I'm really enjoying the Let's Plays, and it's been a, it's been a, a long time awaiting me to actually play this game properly instead of just modding it all the time. So, please pull in this vehicle needs to be weighed. All right, all right, chill out. What what a good sound this truck's got. on the road. I think you guys can see quite a bit there as well, so uh, I think that works out well. You can see pretty much the whole windscreen. Again, I know the field of view is a bit far back to what you should have it, but I'm trying to get the best of both worlds so I can have a nice experience, you guys can have a nice experience. That's what it's all about. It's no good if you guys can't see anything. speed limit but I don't think we'll get up to 80 <laughs> don't forget let me know in the comments what truck you want me to buy for my first truck uh, I do check the comments as much as I can I, I do read to be fair I know if I say I read them all, there'll be one person say, well, you never read mine, but I, I do tend to read them all. I don't reply to them all, but I do read them all, because most of them are just, you know, you know, Mark, you're doing a great job, you know, awesome YouTube videos, which is brilliant. And I do really appreciate it. I should really start replying to everybody, to be honest. I like seeing all the different loads on American trucks, because all the tankers and everything look different. God, it sounds good, that. Don't forget guys, I've been watching Silent Scotty as well, who started doing YouTube videos, I think we actually started like the same month, so uh, don't forget, go check his channel out, great content, does a lot of console content as well, which obviously I don't do, so if you're a farmer or anything and you're interested in consoles, go and check him out, and also he also does ATS now as well, he's got a PC, he's turned over to the dark side. And uh, yeah, his content's brilliant. Silent Scotty, he's called, so go and check him out. Great guy, always shouts me out. So uh, he knows I appreciate it. So, And I, I do spend a lot of time in his live streams as well, so I see live streams more than I do, which is brilliant. You, you guys know I love live streams, which we will be bringing to the channel more. Think of the view and things like that. I try, you know, 
we, we can tweak it, there's no hassle. I can make, make bring it more forward. If you're gonna be, if someone's gonna like say how you should properly have it, you should have it closer. But as long as you guys, you guys can see the whole windscreen, and then when I also turn the wheel, you can see more. So I think it's perfect. I think you guys will be able to watch the content and enjoy the drive as much as I'm enjoying it. I've got side screens as well, so even though they're a little bit far back at the moment, and obviously the they are stretched because I haven't got multi multi monitor turned on, uh, I, I can still use them to look out. So it's perfect for me. I love the sound of these trucks. mile ago, well 103 if you want to be precise. I'm actually currently sitting bang on the speed limit, which isn't like us. <laughs> well that guy's going for an overtake again. On it, absolutely on it. On the new setup, because uh, I don't know if you truck guys watch the farming videos as well, or the weekly vlogs that I do, just the weekly update vlogs at the moment. I am going to vlog more in the future, because uh, you guys have asked me to. So, uh, but anyway, I do, if you truck guys don't follow all the other videos, you, you probably don't know that I'm moving house, and. Uh, I'm moving house to get better internet so I can do more live stream. I can live stream ADS, I can live stream Euro Truck, you know, and so forth. So, uh, in that move, a lot of big changes are happening to the setup, to the monitors, to everything. So, we're doing away with all these monitors. This left monitor, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Samsung Slim Bezel 42 inch, really nice TV. That's going to be getting wall mounted possibly well more I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wall mount it I don't know when yet but in the new room it'll get wall mounted and we'll use that for consoles so I'm gonna get an Xbox one and a PS4 so you guys can get involved on that side of things a bit more so I'm not leaving everyone out uh, and then we're gonna change out these three for at the moment it's looking to be 43 inch I've got a 50 in the middle and two 42s but they're all different size bezels, they're all different size screens. I never intended to do that, but it's all I could get my hands on at the time. So, these are all gone, including the, the top monitor as well. And we're going to go for three, at, at the minute it's 343 inches, but there could be 349s, I'm not sure yet. But the 1080p, 60 hertz, which is all I need, and the ones I've actually... The 43s that I've found are actually really good input lag as well. I mean, I don't, I don't really get much input lag on these screens. I don't know if you can see, but see when I move the wheel, I don't get a lot of input lag at all. As soon as you move the wheel, it moves. So yeah, I, I don't really tend to get input lag. So I'm not really too fussed. But the, they're only uh, six millisecond these screens, and five between one and five is what most gaming monitors are so i'd rather have the extra size and a little bit slower input but it is milliseconds so as i say i know this center tv is like 12 milliseconds but i don't know if you can see through the webcam i don't know if that relays it right but it does it moves when i move i mean it it's pretty bang on uh, so i'm not too worried about that i just wanted 60 hertz and i like the bigger screen so we're going to get an adjustable monitor stand, a floor stand and one, so we can adjust the monitors wherever we want them. And if I only want to use the centre one, I can. So that's the plan. Uh, steam wheel is getting changed. Uh, I'm not sure what yet. I think I'm going to go for a, T, a Thrustmaster TX or a T300. But I'm on the bench at the moment. Obviously, I'm changing a lot of things, so I do need to think a little bit about cost. Uh, I, I haven't just, you know... I haven't got tons of money, but the move is going to give us a little bit of extra cash where I can put a little bit back into the channel for the future. Uh, and for me, because I spend my whole life in my room anyway, so... Uh, 
uh, yeah, changing the rig, something more adjustable. So if I want to put the shifter on the right, I can. If I want to just quickly switch it out and put it on the left, I can. Just something a little bit more adjustable. Nothing wrong with a DIY rig, however, it is, well, it's limited to your DIY capabilities. I can't use a router or anything like that, or a welder, so I can't just make it fully adjustable. So, and the newer room, with the monitors being as big as what they are, if the room's a little bit smaller, which I think it might be, but I'm not, not worried about that, it means the rig itself will be a bit more compact, and the monitors I can actually just fold in. Uh, so if I'm not using the rig, I can just fold them into 90 degrees and then it's taking up less room, so... Yeah, we're massive changes to come, <laughs> which I can't wait for, I'm looking forward to. It'll be in the next two to six months, that sort of time. Uh, in that time, I've, I need to move into my wife's parents' house, uh, because we're moving actually like two, well, a three-hour drive away we're moving. So it's going to make more sense just to move in with them and then we can move from their house to our new house when we find it. So I'm going to take my rig and my desk. I'm just going to take the rig with one screen, so just the centre screen. Uh, and then I'm just going to take that and set that up. So there'll still be videos every day. Even when we're building a new man cave, I'll still be recording every night when I come home from building the man cave because I'll be replacing pretty much everything. I've got all this spare stuff. I don't need it in the room. So I can game on all this and then once I'm finished with it I'll just either sell it or get rid of it or whatever. Most of it's fallen apart now. The only thing, I mean the rig's absolutely, I mean it just, I don't know how I can show, it just doesn't move. It just, <laughs> it's so solid. Uh, and it'll be a shame if there was someone, you know, close by but it's so heavy, it's not practical at all. It's made out of uh, roof truss material that you use to build house roofs. So it's not practical at all, but so yeah, that'll be going, and uh, yeah, a couple of things in the works, and uh, I don't know how it's going to work yet, but it would have been handy if I could have got a new rig and the monitor stand before I moved to my wife's parents, because then I wouldn't have to take this with me. But oh, wait and see. But anyway, just so you trucking guys know that we we will be moving forward with the content. But let me know if you want to see a Euro truck video and then the next day an American truck and then the next day a Euro truck and so forth. All, uh, all week. There'll be seven videos of trucking but one will be Euro truck, one will be American truck. So let me know what you think. I think it's a good change. I think, you know, I think, I think it'll be alright. You are running out of fuel. We've only got two miles though, I don't need fuel. I think he's won the race, look. We've done him. We've got him. Handbrake on. Oh, that was so good. I need to not. I need to not be messing about here. Get the traffic lights. Oh, he's done us again. Come on, foot down. Power. Always time for a drag race. Oh, I've got him. We've done him. Knacked him. Get the power down. We're going to get through the green light. Ah, oh, we've done it. And we're caught up with the other truck. Oh, I need to be in the left lane now, though. actually a lane or have I just made this up? <laughs> I 
think I'm just in the centre of the road here. Yeah, I've just drove down the centre of the road. Oh. oh, it sounds so good. It's a red arrow, I'm assuming it goes green. To be honest, it's gonna the the difficulty parking. I'm struggling with the U, with the American truck, so I think we're just gonna go for the sim, not the simple parking like yeah the simple parking, because I'm just not good enough at the moment. But we'll get better at it. Yeah, so I'm just I'm gonna go for the simple parking at the moment because the difficulty parking is definitely harder than Euro truck, and I've always admitted I'm not the best parker in the world. We're on level two, guys. We'll go high value cargo, eh? and uh, I'm just gonna. We've got 20 minutes left because try and keep it around the hour. You, you know me by now, so. Uh, I was just going to see if there was like a shorter job, you know, uh, 185 mile there. Uh, what's that one? 185, 94. Probably got time to do 185. I don't know what the one we just did was. I think we'll just do we'll do the hundred miler. We're in a different truck this time, so we might need to move the view a bit, guys. So sorry if the view's different, but once we get our own truck, we'll be able to uh, just just pick a view. Uh, it seems all right. It seems a bit high, if I'm honest. Uh, can we just it just it seems really really high uh, I'm gonna sit the seat down a bit oh that wasn't the right one that's it Right, we'll go with that, see how that, see how that runs us. What are we hauling? Cable wheels. Nice. Good. It's not a bad truck. He's got a nice trailer on, hasn't he? Are oh, you just going to pull out in front of us? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, go on. He just wouldn't pull out in front of a truck like that. Oh, 
Sounds alright, this thing, I like it. Nice. I like that side of the truck on the left better, the older stuff. Splitter box comes in because it's, it's too high of revs. Come on, not the splitter, sorry, the range. Some of the engines cope all right with a simple box. Some just don't. I think, it, to be honest, I think it's just a lower power truck this as well. But the gear, the gear ratio is way different. Again? Oh, it's a 16 speed, this, isn't it? 14, is it? Tell you what, a lot of traffic on the road, even though speed in the fence, what? For what? It's an 80 speed limit. Ah, oh, it must have been in the actual compound. Ah, oh, what a useless idiot. We've only got 70 miles to go, so it's going to work out about right. Ah, I've enjoyed it. Our first video, graphics and everything's ticking over okay. It's sitting at sort of 70, uh, sorry, 86 to 100 sort of frames. I can cope with that. It's hard with these open world type of titles because they just, I don't know, certain parts of it will run absolutely fine, but then other parts just, you know, you get terrible frames. That, I don't know if that's a software issue or a hardware issue or what, I, you know, I don't have a, a 1080Ti so I, I don't know how good that would run. I know the 10 series cards, apparently, from what from what I've heard, I don't know this factually, but from what I've heard with other people with 10 series cards who've like upgraded from like a 900 card, so like a 980 or a 980 Ti or a 970 or whatever, they, they, they've said the 10 series don't seem to run this game as well because apparently the 10 series isn't optimised for DX9, but again, I don't know how how true that is, uh, but I do know the 9 series cards aren't well optimised for uh, DX12, because I play Forza Horizon 3, which is a DX12 title, because it's on the Windows Store. So, yeah, I know the 9 series isn't well optimised for DX12, so I'm wondering if what they're saying is right, like the 10 series isn't well optimised for DX9. It would make sense, because DX9 is such an old piece of, like, you know, it's old now, you've got DX11, DX12 coming in, so 
I get it. This has been alright, drive this one as well. I thought 100 miles, it's not going to take long, but I only had sort of 20 minutes left. I don't really want to be two hour episodes yet. We've got the option to in the future, don't get me wrong. He's running all right. The other truck we were in, definitely better power wise, but it's an easy fix. I think Silent Scotty was having an issue with, uh, he was saying that he was changing up, coming to a hill and changing up and down the gears. He was finding it hard. I didn't really understand what he was saying, but what he, I think what he means, it's because if you've got it set to simple H pattern, you've just got what gear one to six, and it goes from gear one to 12, and it splits it and picks what it thinks you, sh you need. But if you're struggling with like going up a hill, if you change the gearbox pattern to, a, to the range, where you've got a button, so you've got one to six, and then you've got a button six to twelve. So that's probably what the complaint was. I'll put this on range, I think, next time, because you can hear I'm coming up a hill now. But if I change down, it'll clear you hitting off the rev limiter. And that's not what you want. So that went from twelve gear to ninth, and you, you don't need that. I'll tell you what, while I'm talking about it. So if you're having problems with changing gears on this game. Uh, if you go at the controls and you want to go down to where it says gears so you put in your gear 1 to 6 in here and then you've got toggle shift to toggle 1 and 2 so pick a button whether it's on the keyboard or your wheel or whatever and then you want to change this mindset to splitter but it's not that that's it's you want to shift the behavior so you want to put that on advanced and then you want to put that on range and then what will happen is I'll show you quickly right so now so if I use me uh, where are we at here I think I've got a toggle button yeah so I've got one You can you see the gears yeah you can see the gears right in the middle so I've got one two three four five six then you hit the toggle and you go back into first which is now 13th 14th uh, no hang on hang on so you've got one to six and then you hit the toggle the first toggle and then you've got seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then your second toggle which is uh, 13 like that so it, it takes a bit of getting used to, to be honest. It seems a bit faffy to start off with, but you'll get it. Right, there we go. Alright, truck, alright, alright. You have to hold the clutch in a bit longer as well, which is more realistic, to be fair. If you try and just press the clutch like a button, it won't go in. Right, so we'll, we'll run range for now and we'll see how that goes. So we're in sixth. And then you hit your range button, your toggle, that's seventh. And then eighth, and then so on. So you'll get the gist of it. Have a, have a play about, but it means when you come to a hill, I can just go from eighth back down to seventh which is so much better but you'll find that you just it'll it'll get up hills better perfect the only time it becomes a problem is if you forget which buttons you've got set for your toggles i've got mine the wrong way around i should have toggle one first then toggle two but i've got toggle two first so toggle two you'll probably never use because most gears go one to six so you only need one button for a toggle but some of the American trucks have 18 speed shifters in them. 
so you need the second toggle as well but you'll get used to it leave it on simple if you're struggling if you're running euro truck you definitely can just use simple it seems better but american truck really seems to struggle when it's on simple shifting pattern Yeah, much better with the range gearbox like. So we're going in here. I've just split the gearbox there back down to 1 to 6 now, so in the towns you won't need to change the shifter. But if you want me to do a, a more in-depth video on it, I can do a more in-depth video on it. I say I've got my buttons the wrong way around at the moment, so we'll, uh, we'll go for simple for now, and then we'll do an episode on it. Harder parking. Jobs are good. So, we've got a bit of money there. Obviously, we do need to use the bank to lend money, but I'm probably going to do another job or so because I'm quite enjoying just driving around as well. Uh, but I don't know if we've got any dealers unlocked yet. Yeah, so we can go visit the selected dealer. So, yeah, so I think we'll be able to get a loan and I think that's probably the only truck which is 112,000 that's the one I would like to buy I love that thing yeah I might just go for that you know that's a stunning truck Yeah, so they're locked, so them two, I can go for that or that. And I think we're going to go for the 389, because that is nice. Uh, we've got $8,000 now. Uh, and then we can lend... What is it? There's the bank. So we can lend up to 100000 which is 108. So we'll need to do a couple of more jobs, and then we'll get our truck. Oh, we can borrow 130 Okay, right. But we'll do, we'll do another couple of jobs and then we'll buy our truck in the next episode. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Absolutely, you know, greatly appreciated. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the content. Again, let me know if you want to see. I, I'm thinking of doing a Euro truck, then an American truck, then a Euro truck, then an American truck. Let me know what you think. Uh, obviously, we'll do Let's Players on both because I'm enjoying the Let's Players. And... Uh, you know, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. But please leave a comment and let me know why you didn't enjoy it. Just so I can improve the content. And uh, hit over to the Facebook group. We've got about 100 members now. Uh, you feel free to post whatever you like on there. Real trucks, in-game trucks, your setups, anything you like. Cars, doesn't matter. It's just an open community for people to enjoy themselves. Ask questions about computers or consoles or whatever you like. And just... Get involved with each other, you know. And uh, other than that, guys, catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.